I'm a self-defense instructor. I work solely on self-defense for women. And let me tell you, ladies, it's not going to be easy, but I'll show you how to prevent scumbags from just touching you everywhere. Let's get started. All right, ladies, let's get started. Tip number one, preventing gear. That's right. No man in the right mind would want to touch your <laughs> when you're wielding an aluminum baseball bat in a sick Tony Hawk helmet. And if a guy does, don't worry. You can either headbutt, take your baseball bat, and just whack him right in the family jewels. Okay? Got that settled? Let's move on. Tip number two. Make yourself appear more dominant to the male. Okay. How this works. Let's say some scumbag, freaking Joe Smo, walking along the sidewalk. That's when one of these comes in handy. All right, all you need is a bottle of water and a pin or a nail. You just take that sucker and jam it in there, okay? Make a nice hole right in the cap. And this is why this comes in handy. Now, let's say some scumbag walking down the sidewalk, eh, just sees you, thinks you're a hot box of racks. Well, this is where your water bottle with the hole poked in the top. Is gonna come in. I call it the wiener. Now you just take this bad boy, turn around, not facing him because the whole trip will be kibosh, and you just press. And it makes you look like you're hanging down. This is the third and final tip. This is probably the most important tip. Let's say the bottle trick doesn't work and the guy just just go straight past that sucker. He's just uh, Albert Einstein. And he starts just being weird. He's like, hey, would it come over to my house? I'm pretty lonely. I got nothing to do. Okay. When he starts talking to you like that, you need to show that you're aggressive. You're a powerful female. Okay. What this means is, is you may have to crush a man's cojones. You're going to have to do some self-defense. And I'll show you some of those moves coming up right here. Let's say this chair here is a man, and he's like, Oh, hey, what's up, hot babe? Want to come back to my place? This is where you turn around, and this is nuts right here. This is a wiener's package. You just turn around, and you go, No! And you just kick him right as hard as you can, okay? That's one move. That's what I call the ball buster. All right, this is move number two. I call this one the spinning back kick, a.k.a. I will kick you right in the goddamn throat. You just, he walks up behind you, and you go, I don't want to go back to your place. You just go, wham, and you just kick him right in the throat and be like, uh-uh, 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 not for you. This is not for you, okay? Okay, ladies, okay? Move number three. This is the last move, and it's probably the most deadly. It's called the eye gouger. The same man's walking up to you, right, and he's just, like, grabbing on your butt, and you're like, I don't want you to grab my butt, sir. And he's like, I'm going to touch your butt, honey. You just turn around with two fingers like this, right? Like two fingers. Just turn around and go, what up? And you just nail him right in the eyeballs. You just take him out. You just take him out. He's blinded. He's blinded. Now, this is where the second part of this move comes in. He's laying on the ground crying at me. You just go, you scissor kick him right in the ding dong. You go, what up? And you just nail him right in the, you just nail him right in the nut sack. Okay, ladies, that's how it's done. I'm Dan, the instructor. <laughs>